Join our hosts as they take a closer look at the Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay, a bay boat that can comfortably handle offshore conditions and easily bump down a shallow mangrove shoreline. The Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay has an overall length of 26 feet 7 inches, a beam of 9 feet 2 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 450. Designed for slicing through a chop and getting shallow, she has a draft of 16 inches, a dead rise of 17 degrees, a dry weight of 4,814 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 110 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Hey guys, how about this? We are on the Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay, a 27-foot bay boat. We've got seven people on here today with room for everybody to sit and draft in 15 inches of water. Can't wait to see what this boat's gonna do. I love the fact that we have the Smith family on board today with us. It's really gonna show every bit of this boat from the storage compartments, to fishing, cruising, we're gonna see it all. You know, I'm a big fan of this style of boat, as you both know. I like the bay hybrid, hybrid bay concept. I mean, I like to be able to fish in the inland waters and fish in the ocean. And hopefully today we get to do a little bit of both of those things and see what this boat's all about. The design attributes found in a bay-specific boat are very popular for serious hands-on anglers. The type of angler who likes to fish with a rod in hand all day and cast directly to a target has a real need for a deck layout that allows you to move freely around the entire boat while maintaining the increased visibility offered by a raised deck. She's 27 feet long with a 9 foot 2 inch beam with enough gunnel height to stand her ground offshore while drafting, get this, only 16 inches of water. And here's what all that means to you. You've got enough room to carry all your friends offshore, and her profile is low enough for a trolling motor to hold her fast in a stiff breeze or a screaming current. The 2700 sports a large forward casting surface that's as perfect to sight casting from floating debris or a weed line as it is to a rock wall or jetty on the beach. The height advantage offers increased awareness of target position, and it's plenty big enough for a couple of anglers to share. Hey, us old guys can really appreciate the extra step they put in to make it easier to access that massive casting platform. But listen, that thing doubles as a seat. It's got a bolster against the back of it, can be one of the most comfortable places to sit on the boat. At the bow, we had an anchor locker and two sealed rod boxes, one on your port side and one on your starboard side, along with a huge compartment in the center. In front of the console, we got what I like to call the two-for-one deal. It's a seat, but also a cooler. I love this because it really does free up deck space, having that already built in. The 2700 Hybrid Bay is an upper-tier boat in this class, with many quality features included as standard equipment. Dual flush-mounted Simrad 12-inch Evo 3 units, Seastar hydraulic tilt steering, all waterproof Deutsch plug electrical connections, and a wet sounds audio system with four six and a half, two eight inch subs, and a 200 watt amp, just to name a few, are all standard features. Inside the console today was extremely roomy, providing you with a lot of storage space. And if you wanted to, you have the option to install a porta potty. The stern had a lot of action today, from catching bait to catching fish to having to clean up. It was great having raw and freshwater washdowns right there. It makes cleaning up so much easier. She's holding 24 inches of cockpit freeboard. Now that means she can handle some sloppy water. Just a few years ago, we never would have believed we'd see a bay boat rated to hold, get this now, eight people. A smaller rear casting deck in the cockpit allows you to add another angler to the mix while providing space below it to accommodate a pair of 30 gallon live wells in the transom corners. For days when industrial quantities of bait are necessary, another 38 gallon well is located in the leaning post under the seat's backrest and five rod holders. The transom ladder was super impressive. I loved the size of it. All you had to do was push down to drop it. No buttons, no clips, or having to open a compartment to get to it. After fishing today, Allie and Abby were able to flip up the stern bench seat that was folded down in between the two aft 30 gallon live wells. Being able to transform the stern into a fishing platform and then a place to sit while underway made life on the boat so much easier today. Guys, what an incredible day today. 
when we left the dock and there were seven people on the boat, not gonna lie, I was a little, eh, I don't know how this is gonna work, but man, did it work. We had plenty of room today, and look at us right now, the three of us standing up here on this bow, plenty of room. Absolutely, you know what? When we left, this is my first experience on a Blazer boat, and this Blazer Bay definitely impressed me. In the bay boat, big hybrid style bay boat, this boat is absolutely gonna be at the top of the field. And if you're the guy that wants a hybrid bay experience, and you've got a big family or a lot of buddies, you need to check out the Blazer Bay 2700 Hybrid Bay.